If you live in a major city anywhere in the world, a nerve-wracking and miserable daily commute is probably a part of your daily routine. But can a meaningful conversation, an opportunity to make a human connection, make your daily commute an uplifting experience rather than a dreaded chore? This is the premise of Date While You Wait. Thomas Knox sets up a table, two chairs, and invites strangers to join him for a conversation or to play a game, all while they wait for their train to arrive. Knox's favorite game to play during these chats? Connect Four. Besides getting to know strangers, Knox had the opportunity to play with the creator of Connect Four, Howard Wexler. And like the name of the game, Knox's Date While You Wait social experiment is all about connecting people, especially in places like New York City, where life's distractions often means missing out on its simple joys. Growing up, I used to go to parks and play sports and play pickup games, and I play with random people. Um, so I kind of want to bring that back, and I kind of want to do things that connect people on a level past social media and past, you know, just being individual basis. Um, and I want people to be able to just have a, have an open, you know, conversation, an open dialogue. I learn so much more from people when I have a conversation with them rather than me just looking at them and assuming. Um, so I think it's very important just to, to open up and have a conversation with someone. Um, connection is, 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 is really something we've been missing, um, I feel, as, as a society as a whole. I had conversations with, with my friends and family around uh, what goes on when, it, when there are commutes, uh, and primarily how negative it is. Um, so I wanted to do something that was fun and something cool to, to give people the ability to do positive things and connect. A lot of times people don't feel comfortable with those things and I want every person, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, to have the ability to be comfortable with having a conversation with me. Um, and I realize that sometimes when people sit down, they're, they're, they're nervous, they're a little nervous and then, you know, 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, they're like my best friend. <laughs> so it really ranges. It, it, it's so cool to, to kind of see some, somebody go from being really uncomfortable to, to, to be fully open, you know, telling me what they're going to cook for dinner or, or that they're, they're doing yoga later or, or you know, that, that even their health problems. Like, it's, it's, it's something that I really, really appreciate and I, I would never take for granted. The thing that's, that's really cool is adding the board game, uh, I guess, component to it gives people the ability to go back to their childhood. So a lot of times people sit down and they just want to play a game because they haven't played it in years. Thanks for, thanks for taking the chance to sell me. Yes. I'm, I'm extremely nervous and hot and upset. Um, and sometimes people do open up and tell me about their personal life. Um, but a lot of times it's just more conversations around that commute and you know playing a game that they haven't played in a long time and just kind of bringing a, a you know, huge smile to their faces. So I just want to put the fair into you before we uh, start. He seems like a very down-to-earth guy. He's just doing it, you know, for the art of it, for, for himself, like, just, you know, connect, connecting with people, it's really important. Um, and we forget about that sometimes, especially here in the city. I think Connect4 was, was the game we chose because 
it, it has the word connect in it. That's number one. Number two, it's it's a quick game. It's not. It kind of it's kind of in line with what we want to do and kind of what I wanted to do with DYU8. Um, I, I wanted to have it, have the ability to connect with people, so I thought a cool cool game would be uh, connect for because it has the word connect in it. It's a very easy game to play. I've never played this game before. I'm originally from Poland, and we don't have Connect Four. I've heard about it, I've seen it, but I've never played it, so it was fun. And of course, he won because he like played it a million times. But it's okay. I had the opportunity to meet with the creative Connect Floor. Um, he basically said, hey, whatever I can do to support you, however I can um, you know, be a, a support system for you and what you're doing, I really love what you're doing, uh, let me know. And I, and I was like, what better way to support me than to come and join me for a game of Connect Four? And you know, he ended up doing that, and, and it was great. I think that was, was pretty much the highlight of what I've been doing. Not, not only am I connecting with people, but the creator of the game has the ability to see that I'm connecting with people, and, and that, that really meant a lot to me. I'll give anybody a high five, I'll give anybody a hug. It really depends on what people are comfortable with. Um, I feel like after playing a long game of Connect Four, and in most cases losing, um, I have to do something that, that kind of lets them know, like, hey, I, I really appreciate you sitting down. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity. So. I just want people to continue to, to, to understand how important it is to take chances in life. Um, all I did was take a chance. Um, and, and essentially, when I first had the idea, I was a little uncomfortable. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. You got to take chances in life. And sometimes it may not work out, but it's totally fine. Because at the end of the day, you can say, hey, I took the chance and I kind of put my best foot forward. The first thing I say to them is, you know, hi, I'm Thomas. Thanks for taking the chance to sit with me. Um, I really appreciate it, like, because it's, it, 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 it lets them know that I appreciate them taking the, the, the time to, to do something that they normally won't do. And I think, you know, just taking chances in life and, and living life to the fullest, that, that, those are kind of like my, my mantras, I guess you can say.